you guys have to understand that when I say I'm gonna hollow out the planet and fill it with gifts, I, I really can't help but go a little overboard. <laughs> Just a touch, you know, a, a couple of thousand kilometers into space. Let's see if we can get this party started. Okay, that's a lot of colors. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to Solar Smash, the only game that's turned Christmas into some kind of planet destroying weapon, or weapons, I guess. I should probably mention, I don't really know what to expect today, other than a holly jolly end of humanity. I mean, let's be honest, it's the only way 2020 could have ended. I'm constantly hearing a bunch of whiny Americans complaining about the war on Christmas, but little do they realize that Christmas was eventually going to strike back. <gasps> With the tree missile? That's a big tree. I would imagine it packs quite the punch. Oh. I kind of figured that the lights would be nuclear warheads, but it, I, I don't think it's actually a missile. It's a drill. It's still going! Is it just gonna come out the other side? Is Australia the other side? I'm not 100% sure. It's taking its sweet ass time. Oh, here it is. <laughs> it just drilled through the center of the earth and kept on going. Well, how is it Santa's trees can drill through the planet, but mine look like the Crypt Keeper come January? Well, the bad news is the population of North America has now been wiped out by a spinning tree. But the good news is, the world now has a shortcut between the east and west. You go straight from North America, or the crater that was North America, all the way over to China. I'm kind of curious what would happen if I used a whole bunch of trees. At the same time, while controlling time. I'm gonna go out on a limb. Oh, there's an unintentional tree joke. I'm going to assume that they probably don't celebrate Christmas all that much in China and India and the Middle East. Actually, I'm pretty sure they get persecuted for celebrating Christmas in some of these places. Point is, we're going to bring them Christmas the only way a civilized nation knows how, by making it rain pain. It looks like a Christmas tree invasion. Oh boy. Oh, wait, I, I was thinking democracy, not Christmas. Oh, crap. It's fine, okay? I, I'm sure that they appreciate it nonetheless. Man, oh man, that is an impressive new ability. Like, usually when you're given a Christmas gift, you get to hold on to it year round. I wanna be drilling trees through the earth whenever I want, so I really hope that they don't take this back. <gasps> well, yeah, that that's pretty. Flawless. Hey, America's back. It's a Christmas miracle. I wonder if I can give Canada just a little Christmas. You know, I, I want to do kind of a flyby. Is that at all possible? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the good stuff. And it missed me. I took out all of Canada except for Newfoundland. <laughs> You see that really bright light on the right-hand side of the island? That's my front porch. There's not a whole lot going on out here, okay? But in fairness, I treat all Earthlings equally, and you guys were telling me in the comments of a past episode that if I turn the nuclear missiles up to 69, then apparently something will happen? I don't know if you guys are just screwing with me or not. I kind of hope that something kinky happens, which is why I'm going to do it to myself. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Oh, those aren't nuclear missiles at all. <laughs> Does 69 send in some kind of space force? Oh, man, I really felt that one. That was only a level one crotch gobbling armada. What happens if I up it to the max? If we go to level five and then show a little love to Australia. Okay. Yup, there's a pretty decent difference. Definitely felt that one down under. I can appreciate that 69 is hilarious. Like it could even be argued that it's in the holiday spirit. Giving and receiving, but. God, that's bad. 
<laughs> but I, I really want to bring Christmas to more places in the universe. It's like, uh, I've got 800 million things living on this planet. I mean, I still don't think they're living. I'm pretty sure they're bang bots, and this isn't really a planet. It's just a shell around a star. But either way, they deserve Christmas. So we're going to send a Christmassy line drive right into their wheelhouse, and hopefully it can drill through the shield? Eventually? Oh, wait. The tree doesn't stop. It would just keep on going through the planet and then out the other side. So if it never reaches the other side, is it just going to drill through the shield infinitely? Just going to keep on spinning? It seems to be working. The shield's gone from blue to white. And eventually it'll go a little yellow and then orange and then red and then it'll pop. But like Christmas is kind of coming up quick, so maybe we could just... Send a little bit more Christmas. I did not think I could use this many trees. <laughs> I'm sending an entire forest after them. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. Do you guys feel like it's the most wonderful time of year yet? You go ahead and admit it, it's perfectly fine. Um may have popped the star on the inside. Okay. We're gonna file that one under oopsies. Yeah, you see, this is what I'm talking about. Once you start to spread Christmas cheer throughout the universe, other species are picking it up. Somebody clearly built this intergalactic snowman. <laughs> a little concerned where they got a carrot the size of Africa, but either way, I already know what I want to do with this guy. We're gonna get a tree, and we're gonna go ahead and aim down here. <laughs> and see, what happens when Frosty gets a tree enema? Actually, it's kind of small. You know, Frosty's surprisingly big. It should come out the top sooner rather than later, but it might take a hot second. <laughs> It's now a good time to mention that I have a Twitter at the Captain Sauce. Be sure to follow me for more exploring giant space snowman assholes, I guess. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with me? Come on, tree, you can do it. I believe in you. Oh, oh, yep, there it is. Not quite the effect I was looking for, but I feel like an asshole. Ruining people's snowman's just the worst. As much fun as it is to drill through stuff with the tree, decorating isn't the only part of the holidays. Like, clearly, we need to get to gift giving. So I'm gonna go ahead and give a gift the size of Texas. Is it just gonna sit there? Do we need to open it? <laughs> I don't know, maybe we can get the Space Force to open it? Oh, no, I sent some nukes. Ooh, there you go. It didn't have anything inside. Was America not good this year? Let's see what Europe got for Christmas. I'd imagine they asked for a giant planet-eating worm. <laughs> oh, that's a dick move, Europe. Come on, like we all gotta share this place. <laughs> Uh, I'm not gonna be able to get that out. It's not as easy as keeping worms out of a dog. Like, you don't just give them a pill once a month or something like that. Planet worms are a real problem. Should I cut it out? I could try. We've got a laser that I can crank up quite a bit. Where'd you go? Mr. Worm, I know you're in here somewhere. <laughs> the planet'll be fine. Everyone's dead. That's fine, okay? Christmas will go on regardless. Where? Oh, there he goes. He's leaving on his own accord. I probably didn't need to fry the place, did I? You just know that Russia's gonna get a real wet fart, but at the same time, you gotta check to see. Um, I think they got a giant bomb into orbit? I've never seen something orbit the planet before. Actually, yeah, you know what? If Russia could ask for something for Christmas, a giant space bomb is probably at the top of the list. <gasps> Unless they asked for a giant crater. Uh, I wanna hit the bomb, but it's not gonna be easy. 
And there you go. They got their crater. They, they probably didn't want it in Russia, though. They should have been more specific. I wonder if what you use to open the gift determines what's inside. Like, usually that isn't the case, but I was told that there's something unique in these boxes. If you keep trying, what is that? <laughs> That's definitely unique and seems to be cutting the planet in half. Um, excuse me. I don't think South America gets to ask for a present and have it go all the way over to Africa. Please don't circumcise Africa, come on. <laughs> is it actually gonna cut the planet in half? This isn't something we've ever seen before. This isn't something that I can do. I, I gotta ask for it and it looks like I got my gift, maybe? I'm gonna let it run its course and see if we can get two Earths, or two half Earths. A little over 7.1 billion people either have no idea what's happening right now or are scared shitless. <laughs> Cause this thing is made like five or six laps and it is not slowing down. If anything, it's digging deeper and deeper every time. So eventually it is gonna reach the center. Except it didn't really go for halves. You know, we got like two thirds and a third. South America really botched this, not being able to figure out where the equator is. Oh, what is happening? Oh, it's aiming up a little bit. It's not a perfect cross section, so it actually is gonna go for thirds. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's gonna take a toll on human life. We still have survivors, and a lot of them, somehow. Well, I think Burger World is pretty well done. It sounds like a crappy fast food chain as opposed to an actual planet. <laughs> well, like, the middle section is doing surprisingly well considering it's actually hollow. Like, there's nothing inside, it's just a donut. I don't understand how anyone is alive right now. We've got 5.4 billion people and some of them must be surviving on the middle section. You can see that there's still a, a whole bunch of green there. May have spoken a little too soon. They all just bit the dust instantly. Are you happy, South America? Is this what you really wanted for Christmas? Don't let anyone tell you Santa doesn't love his job. Okay, sometimes he gets a little overzealous with production, but that's why we have the 69 Space Force to fly in and distribute gifts appropriately. Ooh, some kind of space storm? It's exactly what I asked for. <laughs> we even got a bunch of lasers. Holy crap, space weather really slaps. Guys, there's nothing left, just pack it up. Trust me, I'm Canadian, I know a thing or two about storms and that one is not worth recovering from. Ho, oh, ho, oh, holy crap, it actually, oh no, for a second I thought it went through the shield. But no, it just sits on top of the shield and we can't see it activate because it doesn't do any damage, I suppose. I really want more intergalactic storms, but for some reason they seem to be incredibly rare and instead I get the boring old alien bombs. I like the fact that some of them orbit though. If we detonate one, maybe we can get a couple. Shield doesn't seem all that impressed and neither am I. What if we use a tree? Come on, tree, give me another one of those storms. I want to see the alien planet melt. No, more bombs, God. Santa, come on, work with me here. I'm trying to make a video. Oh, it actually worked. Finally, I was gonna say I've spent like 20 minutes opening gifts. Santa's really busting my balls here, but it didn't do anything. Really? It completely destroyed the planet and turned it into a puddle of goo, but the shield didn't even change colors. How is this thing so powerful? Well, I don't know about you guys, but all I want for Christmas are some fat snow titties. And I think this guy thinks the same way, so hopefully he gets what he asks for. Oh yeah, now I get a storm right off the bat. Well, let's see how Galactus Frosty handles things. Oh. Yeah, we never did take the time to really look in his insides. 
I can't tell if he's made of snow or not. It doesn't look like it. Feels like rock. Sure, we could find out easy enough. Hold on a second. Let's just bring him back. Come, come on back, big guy. There we go. <gasps> what if we did uh, a little something like this? He doesn't have a molten core like a planet, but it still feels like he's some kind of frosty meteorite. You know what? I don't use the term art very often, but I gotta say, Frosty, you got a rock instead of tits. <laughs> and is that a carrot in your pants or are you just happy to see me? Now that I think about it, we don't really know where a black hole leads to. Like, it could come out in front of a space snowman with a giant dick, but it's more likely that wherever it leads, they don't have Christmas. So I'm gonna do my best to provide them Christmas by hurling some presents in here. Oh, they seem to have rejected the tree, but at least a couple of things got taken. And what exactly did they forget to open? Oh, of course it would be a storm. The best part. We couldn't have a black hole and a storm because that'd be way too cool. That storm is just outrageously powerful. Oh, maybe it's not as powerful as we thought the first time. Maybe it was a mix of all the bombs and the lasers and then, yeah, I guess it could have been a couple of storms that just reduced the planet to ash, but this time around it was quite a bit simmered. Well, you know what that means, we're just gonna have to hollow out the planet and fill it with gifts. Okay, that was far more precise than I had expected. We only lost a third of humanity, so there's still plenty of people around to celebrate. Now, if we just Drop them in. Good. You guys have to understand that when I say I'm gonna hollow out the planet and fill it with gifts, I, I really can't help but go a little overboard. <laughs> Just a touch, you know, a, a couple of thousand kilometers into space. Let's see if we can get this party started. Okay, that's a lot of colors. <laughs> Everyone gone instantly, and most of the planet along with it. That is a lot of lasers. How's the other side of the world doing? Well, not too bad. For now, because the lasers are coming. Yeah, we've even got a bunch of the bombs orbiting. <laughs> oh, there is gonna be nothing left once these lasers are done. I, I think I also ruined space time again. You can always tell when the universe starts to kind of glitch around behind the planet that things are a little borked. Okay, yep, I think that's a pretty good place to leave it. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Solar Smash, guys. I wish more random games like this got Christmas updates. Games that have no right to have a Christmas update where it doesn't really make any sense, but it gives me a seasonal reason to return and play more of it. If you guys know of any games like that, stuff that I've played on the channel before, or stuff that you'd like to see me play, as always, be sure to leave a like in the video, leave a comment letting me know, and maybe I'll return for more holiday shenanigans again soon. But thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.